Hello, welcome to the cab of a Windhoff multi-purpose vehicle, also known as an MPV. Network Rail Southern Region has 22 of these and every year they run 324,000 miles, that's roughly 10 times around the planet, keeping our tracks clear of snow, ice and leaves. Quick science, these are leaves, they're green because the tree produces chlorophyll which converts sunlight, carbon dioxide and water into sugar so the tree can grow. At the end of the season the tree stops producing so much chlorophyll so you can see other chemicals coming through, carotenoids mostly which guess what are orange. Now if these leaves land on the track and get run over by a train the chemicals and sugars in the leaves combine with a layer of rust on the railhead to form a thick black layer and what that does is two things number one it can cause the trains to slip and slide because they just simply can't grip and number two in extreme circumstances they can actually insulate the train from the signaling system so the system cannot see the train anymore so what do our MPVs do to help fix it uh, so the MPVs essentially blast really high pressure water onto the railhead uh, to clear the contamination. So 1500 bar to make it clean for trains to traverse over. And what kind of other things do you do? Uh, so some of the other things that we do, we use traction gel applicators, um, we have vehicles that can put sand down which obviously increase the, the, the grip of the train to the track. Um, one of the really main things we do is work sort of hand in glove with our maintenance organisation to remove any vegetation to begin with. So today we'll be cutting back overhanging branches uh, for potential leaf fall that might block up the drainage systems. It's to do with uh, drainage, uh, anything that foliage could affect the uh, infrastructure of the railway really. Uh, we'll get data from the round team on our high risk leaf fall sites, so this could be one. And uh, we will then make a six week plan to come through top trees and cut overhanging branches. We also now have four weekly meetings with the ecologist team to be more mindful uh, with the environment. Climate change is affecting our weather patterns and therefore it's affecting the way we treat the railway in autumn as well. And I spoke to Stephen Cheng to find out more. So what kind of extra challenges has climate change put on your team and what kind of, what kind of difference is it making? The distinction between the seasons isn't so clear cut anymore. So we're seeing summer weather conditions persist into autumn in terms of like heavy convective rainfall. Um, but we're also seeing autumn conditions um, actually carry on through into winter, which makes planning things such as MPV treatment quite difficult. Um, so one of the things that we're doing this year is that we've actually resourced our snow and ice treatment train two weeks early in case we have any cold snaps. And we are also, we've also got some capacity to have um, additional autumn treatment beyond the official end of autumn in case the autumn conditions persist. Tell me about some of the interesting things we're doing differently this year. Yeah, basically all of our high-risk sites need a weekly inspection, usually done physically by the mom. We're now going to be using a train-mounted camera on the MPV and on passenger rolling stock to do some of the inspections. It will film the railhead and it will get sent back to control or mobile operations manager. Uh, they can review the footage um, and tell us the condition of the railhead. Autumn preparation is a huge subject and we can't really hope to cover all of it in four minutes but we're all ambassadors for the railway so whether you're talking to passengers or your friends and family hopefully we've given you enough information that you can explain what it is we do.